What is up YouTube? It is Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time, back with another video. In today's video, we got Klimper 2. I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, excuse me. Here's the website right here. I'll put the link in the description. We're going to check this out in FL Studio. But before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you get any video I upload to the channel, all right? So we're going to check this out my first time checking it out. You know, I like to do this live and on the fly and just show you guys because it's almost like you're watching it or you're going through it at the same time and you'll probably have the same problems I have, okay? Or see the great things that I see for the first time. Okay, so we got the website right here. Here's the features. Find inspiring musical moments. All right, need more variety, extended and special chords. So basically this is a, you know, a chord MIDI generator. All right, build up whole tracks effortlessly. All right, use it in with your DAW. Kempler 2 is a VST3 audio unit plugin. Uh, and they show you a little demo right here. So we're going we're gonna to check this out. And of course, we're on. There's a January sale, 40% off. So get it right now if you like it. There's the price. All right, let's go into FL Studio and check it out. We are in FL Studio. Okay, so I'm for my first time seeing it. Okay, so we go here. You can select the key that you want to be in. Dope. Voices. You play it out. What's it? Okay, you can extend it. Add a new track if you want to. Okay, so let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. Or when we start, this is the home of red is the home highlight chord to chord relation. So that's on. Let's see if we take that off. I guess it's supposed to show you. I have a no. So obviously, great means there's not no relation to it. And I guess as you go across, I guess those are the relations. Okay, you can turn on strumming. I like that. We'll do the strumming. Okay, I like that so far. Oh, okay, you can change it from the actual letter to the actual number in the scale that it goes to. Okay, that's a quicker way to get. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Feeling it so far. Let's see. We got that on, and then this is selection is empty. Okay, so now we got to figure out a way to lock everything in and go from there. So we're gonna. Is this? Okay, so no, we don't need to add a new track. We can delete that. All right, let's see how to finally go across the board and uh, get something worthy to make a track. All right, so this is what we'll do. Just pull it up there. So now we have that chord progression and we can just drop it on in to any instrument that's one way you can also actually hit this cog wheel and set it up you know i like it like this i'm good all right I need to do. I need to do the whole thing. They just shortened me. Okay. 
There we go. And if I wanted to come in to Plimper and add like some strumming to it, you can do that too. Turn it up just a little bit. So now you can kind of hear the strumming. You can do that too. And now you can see this strumming take place. You can see the little gaps in between. Okay, so quick on the go chord progressions. Let me know what you think about it. And let me also show you this next feature. On this next part, I've added a bass line. You can also say melody or whatever the case may be. And it gives you a piano roll so you know exactly where you want to put your bass. I could put it right there. Then, you know, you can just put it right there. You know exactly where. It highlights the bass or the key note that you would need to create that melody or bass for you. And then when that is done, again, clone this. And drop it on in. And exactly what the bass line I did, I want to take it down some. So that is dope. Like on the fly, you know, it's not the best MIDI or AI that I've seen, but you know, that's cool. Let's see how that sounds by itself. So then you have to move these around. And then let's see how it sounds with this. So you can definitely go in and see exactly where you would need to add the bass line or melody and you just do that by going to add a new track you could put melody and then you can now create a melody using the highlighted ones or anything within the piano roll for each one all right so let me know what you think of Kemp let's do one more let's just start from the beginning on that one again uh, C minor is fine and then we're gonna go here we have all the chords in C minor that we need we add it here you can, you can get if it's out of out of in gray it's probably not gonna be in key because that's one two three four five six seven so 
you can get anything that you need highlighted it'll be good to go so you can go Okay, and then you're gonna highlight the whole thing, export it over. And then you can go start the process again of changing the sound, going back to Kempler and actually going here and creating a bass melody or a, another type of melody, but you got to do that on your own just by, and you don't have to use 140, it could be 132, so you can make it even smaller and go from there, all right? Let me know what you think. I'll do more videos using it. This is just the introduction, Kempler 2 on the website now. Buy it or deny it. It's your boy Hollywood Floss, the worst producer of all time. Peace.